my name is Aless Gunderson and I'm a team coral rider. I ride dressage, but you might also know me because I do a lot of dressage for show jumpers. Um, today, we're going to actually get ready one of my best horses and get him ready for a show and show you guys what we like to do to kind of prep him, uh, make him as beautiful as possible, <laughs> and show you some of the things that we like to use to do that in that process. First off, we have my handy toolbox, um, something that you can easily find at the Home Depot or Lowe's uh, or any of your kind of hardware stores. Um, nothing crazy fancy, but it's a really nice hardy toolbox that we like to keep all of our show things in. Really nice tip about them is they stack. So if you have multiple ones, you can actually stack them and they stay together, which I really like about that. And it's much easier for me to lug around the horse shows. Um, so we have a lot of things in here, probably more than I actually need, <laughs> but there's a lot of really good stuff here that I will show you we use. So not really, we pull the horse out from the stall. Normally they're pretty dirty. Um, he might have had a little bit of a bath before starting this, but that's okay. Um, and we kind of start with the grooming process. So I'm not the pickiest about what I like to use for my brushes. However, there are a couple things that I really like. Um, this very beautiful old <laughs> brush is called a, I think it's called a magic, magic curry brush, something like that. It's called like a magic brush. Anyway, it looks like, it's like one of those old school, like washing clothes <laughs> brushes, um, but it's great. It's, it's soft and it's, it's flexible, but it's like a curry comb. The other thing I like to use is this, rubber curry I'll call it but it has these little magnetic balls in them um, some people will probably say they don't work but I think the horses love being rubbed with them so it gives them a little bit of a massage effect while they're getting cleaned um, and then just some nice soft brushes uh, I don't like to use too hard brushes um, I don't like that on myself so I feel like the horses maybe wouldn't like that um, so those are some nice soft brushes so we do that we I can actually show you guys how this works, even though he's very clean, but I'll show you why I love this brush in particular. Hi, hey, bud. So this is Villaroy Nord, is his full name. Um, he's a tiny horse, as you can tell. No. <laughs> um, he is one of my best horses, and he this year actually debuted in international at FEI level, um, so he had a pretty big year. Um, and so I'll just kind of show you like why I love doing this. You really don't have to put a whole lot of effort into it and it does a good job. And if you just look at his face right now, <laughs> every single horse loves this brush. So it really just gets in there. Oh my goodness. So he loves this. And then if you can see, I don't know if you guys can see in the camera, but you can see even though we did brush them already, look how much more stuff has come out of there just, just from using this. I mean, it's incredible. It really gets off all of that dirt and that's really what makes the horses shiny. A lot of people will cheat and just shower their horses every day and I don't think that's the best thing to do because you lose a lot of their natural oils. Um, so if you can put a little elbow grease and a little effort into really currying them and brushing them, that's where you get the really shiny horses. That's where you get actually the dapples. You don't really see a lot of dapples on chestnuts, so I'm very proud that he has, <laughs> that he has dapples coming up. Um, so if you can and if you have the time, I highly recommend brushing your horses rather than um, just straight up showering them. Of course, sometimes you have a gray that rolls in poop and we have to shower them. But if you can, uh, really just put some effort into curring them. And the horses love it. They really enjoy it and it's really good for their, for their muscles, right? I know, you have some stuff on your face. Hold on. But this is great too because it's gentle enough that you can use it on their face and they don't get angry. He had a little dry skin there. Perfect. Yes, good job, buddy. What I like to do, especially for the horse shows, is use this. So this is like a giant baby wipe. <laughs> I 
like, especially after, since I have now a, a son, that's a year and a half, I started thinking about these in a totally different light because I probably will start using them on him as he gets bigger. <laughs> but these are basically really large baby wipes. Um, okay, they're a step up. They have some amazing natural ingredients in them. Um, they have a really great smell. You guys can't smell them, but it's like a lavender mint smell. I know they have some amazing aloe vera in them. Yep, aloe vera has cocoa extract, comfrey. I mean, it's just a lot of good stuff. I probably should use it on myself. So how I kind of like to use these is kind of like that finishing touch to go over. And it's, this is actually, a lot of people will ask this, um, and I asked this too when I first started using them, is will it make my saddle slippery? Um, it doesn't. So you can use this over the saddle area and you don't have to worry about your saddle slipping or moving around. So I just go all over. And then if you want to get like really technical about why I do this, because I like to get technical and I'm a nerd like that, it closes the hair follicles. Uh, so just like our hair, ladies out there, um, when we put like a little oil after styling our hair and it closes the follicles and it makes it shiny, this is essentially the same thing. So as you can see, hopefully, he looks so beautiful. And it's just like a fun little, Fun little trick. Oh, and he loves it, look at that. <laughs> so the great thing too about this wipe is it is very gentle. So you can actually use it in their nose. He wants to eat it. Oh my God, he ate it. <laughs> um, it's okay though, because it's all natural. Um, and you can use it on their eyes and it won't irritate anything. Of course, every horse is different, but. He's a chestnut, so they're sensitive to everything. <laughs> um, so good. So that's kind of how I like to use it. Another great thing about this, um, I might be the only one that does it. I'm sure I'm not. You can actually wipe down your boots with it as well, just to kind of give it that last clean um, as I'm cleaning my hands with it also. <laughs> you can do that. Uh, but I've used it on the entire horse at this point, and it still has so much life in it. Um, so I really like that. So this is one of my favorite products to use. Um, not sure how many people do this, but I like to use it before I ride, not just after. It's called the Sornomore Performance Ultra. Um, they have a bunch of different lines in their collection, but this one is my favorite. It is their strongest liniment, but it is still USEF and FEI legal. So very important for us, especially since we have horses both doing national shows and international. Um, so products have to be legal for both. Um, but some of the things that it has in here is arnica, rosemary, ginger, comfrey, um, just like an amazing blend of natural herbs and ingredients to make the body feel better. Um, and when you spray this directly on the horse's muscles, it's kind of like when we rub, like if you guys have ever used like an Arnica gel or Arnica muscle rub, um, it has that nice therapeutic effect. It warms up the muscles. It gets circulation and blood flow to the muscles. Um, so for me, you know, it's, it, it of course has its therapeutic effect after riding, which is to reduce inflammation, uh, faster recovery, but I like to use it before as well because it kind of gets their warm up going um, a little quicker, it starts getting their muscles going um, before you actually start warming up. And it just helps them feel kind of looser and feel, feel a little bit better, <laughs> in my opinion, to put a scientific word. It makes them feel better um, for their warm up. So this is a really fun, easy way to kind of, easy thing to add to your, to your show prep um, that has, you know, really good benefits for all the horses, no matter what type of horse they are. You just spray it kind of all over that muscle area um, neck I like to do, back I like to do, kind of like that hamstring glute area I like to do also. Um, and I like to do that at this point just because usually at this point I'm soon ready to get on um, and start the, the warm up. So this will kind of help his muscles warm up, help him feel a little bit better. Thera therapy effects should start to kick in um, as I get him ready. And then the last final spray. It's just like a nice shine spray. So this is Dream Coat, because it makes their coat so dreamy. Um, it's the ultimate coat finish, 
But it's like that show ring shine, you know, Alternatives to this would be like a show sheen, magic sheen, any sort of shine spray. Really important thing to look for is that they don't cause slip um, to your tack because that's the worst feeling ever to feel like they have slip. The other thing that you should do with this, if you are going to use anything like this before you braid, try to not get it on the mane um, because if you get it on the mane, your braiders are going to kill you because it makes their manes very slippery. Uh, makes them too shiny and the braiders like them a little bit more coarse and rough. So this we just put everywhere, go in the tail, and if you have noticed so far I have not brushed the tail. I hate brushing tail. <laughs> I know it's like one of the biggest conspiracies in riding whether or not you should brush the tail or not but I have very long thick hair myself and I don't brush my hair so it works for me so I do the same with the horses um, but he looks really shiny I mean hopefully you can see it in the video but And as you can see now, I'm going to show you, after, after putting any sort of detangler on, you should be able to run your fingers through. See? And that's all I think the tail really needs. It doesn't need to be combed through or brushed. Yeah. So one of the next and probably one of the final touches that we do. If you do this too early in your routine, um, you will get baby oil all over yourself and your horse. Um, but I like to just use just a touch of baby oil. You can get this at your local grocery store. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. And I just rub it on my hands. Your hands will be very moisturized after grooming. Hi, Ben. And I just rub it on their nose. Just really gently. Sometimes they think it's funny because it smells different. And I just kind of very softly, and it just gives, <laughs> and it just gives them a really nice shine, especially if they have a white nose like him. Just that nice iridescent glow. It's like a highlighter for them. And then I go on top of the eyes as well. You don't want to completely baby oil them and make them look like some bodybuilding person going to a show, <laughs> but you just want to highlight those areas that. Just pick up in the sun. I don't know. Maybe it doesn't make a big difference for the judges, but I think it does. <laughs> Are you gonna bite me? So there you go, beautiful. Maybe you can kind of see, hi, hi. Oh my gosh. Um, you can kind of see, oh, he loves the taste of it. That nice little shine there on the nose. So just a nice little finishing touch. The very last thing we do is anything to do with the feet and legs. Normally, because when we're at the horse show, there's not a whole lot of space to work with them. Um, you're often in your stall that has shavings in it. Um, so we try to push the shavings up, actually, up against the wall to kind of give like a, a workspace that doesn't have shavings. But regardless, they will still step in the shavings. So normally, right at the end, I'll do anything that has to do with their legs. So these are the two things that I use. This is, in my opinion, a very fancy baby powder. Um, it has a lot more benefits than baby powder. It, it is also talc free, which is a little bit nicer for the horses. Um, it's non-toxic, but also it helps with any scratches, fungus, stuff like that. So it's kind of like a double whammy, more bang for your buck um, than baby powder. Um, and then this is a hoof oil. This is currently the one that I am using right now. I kind of go through phases where I switch which one I'm using. Um, but right now I'm really loving this. Uh, it's for show ring shine. Um, it just, it's like a nice natural antibacterial um, hoof oil that makes your hoof size and shiny, but also again, bang for your buck, it helps with antibacterial properties. So we will go and put these on. So you would only use this if you have a horse with a white, um, a sock basically. And don't make the mistake of putting the hoof oil on first and then this because you'll see why in a second. <laughs> so you can see his sock is, it's pretty white. You know, we obviously definitely wash this this morning. It's normally not this white. But once it's like this, just pop a little powder on your hand. 
and press it into their sock. He has quite a large sock, so he takes up a little bit more, but just kind of press in. And it just makes the sock that much wider. Also, what you'll find is when you take them out to go warm up, the sock stays much wider. Because um, normally, the ring will leave some sort of residue on the white socks, especially if they're down low. Um, but when you use this, it keeps the sock just a little wider than it normally would. And again, do the judges really care? I don't know. But do I care? A little bit. So I like to do this. I even do this for like the vet checks, the FEI jogs. I really like to do this just so it looks a little cleaner and nicer. It also feels amazing on your hand. If you guys get this, it just, it feels so good. I think it because it has a little bit of peppermint. Yes, it has a tiny bit of peppermint oil. Um, and it has bentonite clay, which is very drying. So if you have a horse that has rain rot or scratches, um, it's a great thing for it. So. There we go. So you can see here on the foot, you have all of that fall away, right? And that's exactly why I say don't do the hoof oil first. Because if I did the hoof oil, I would have all of this white stuff stuck to the foot, which we don't want. That just looks tacky, right? So that foot, <laughs> that leg looks nice and white. And then I grab the hoof oil and I apply this. So this particular one, it's a little bit runny, but I actually don't mind that because it's kind of like a nail polish in my opinion. But it just gives it that just nice clean shine. I know that sometimes people, especially in the hunter world, they like to buffer their horse's feet. I'm not going to do that for you because I just don't have time for that. <laughs> I just don't do that. But if you were to do that and you applied this after, it would be so beautiful. And the nice thing too about this, which is why I, I like to have it in my show kit, is it looks great on um, all color feet. So he has kind of like a mix of a white foot on the white legs, obviously, and then a darker foot on the other legs. Um, so this oil looks great on both colored hooves. Final thing we do is some Vaseline. Good old Vaseline. Nothing fancy. Right in the corners of his mouth. So this is something we do with all the horses. Doesn't matter whether they're at a show or at home. Hi, bud. But we just add a little bit, ooh, fly. Just add a little bit the corner of his mouth here. And then a little bit inside. And this just keeps the skin around the mouth soft, especially when we have bits in their mouths. We don't want them to get irritated. And when, when the lips get dry and chapped, they're more prone to, just like our lips, to breaking. Um, so it's not so comfortable for them. Why do you want to eat me all the time? He's not spoiled at all. So we just kind of go in and we go inside. So then their mouths and their lips stay really nice and soft. Good boy. There. And then the, the bits never or rarely ever irritate them as long as you have a properly fitting bit. <laughs> Good boy. So now that that is done, now is when we would tack him up and get him ready.